Hello fiber friends and poly crafters to another episode of Maddie Makes. I'm Crystal and today we're going to play with Mr. Brother Drum Carter and make a mixed bat of some beautiful fall colors. We're going to take some wool, some banana fiber, some silk, if you will, and pop in some mohair for some really cute curls and it's hand dyed. So huge, bright pops of color there. And um, I'll show you two ways to take the fiber off, off the drum, I should say. So we're gonna diz it off the bat to make our own roving. And I'm gonna use a set of dowels to pull the fiber off the bat and make roll eggs. So stay tuned. Let's take it to the table and see all those wonderful fall colors. Some uh, beautiful brown wool, creamy, a beautiful banana fiber. Wonderful hand dyed mohair. And not last, not least, to brighten it up and make things gorgeous, we will add some silk threads. I will cut them up. That'll be great. Does that scream fall? No, it doesn't. Doesn't have enough orange, does it? Mm. What shall we do? We can have a little bit of this, another long, beautiful wool, and this. I love dyeing fiber and then not knowing what to do with it until the moment strikes and those colors are absolutely perfect. So with all this menagerie and some lovely little wool bearers to help, they're cute. We will build it. Ha ha ha. You don't build it. You get in the way. Sit over there. Anyway, start off with a little bit of uh, this beautiful brown. Keeping in mind, I haven't bought a coated fleece yet, so um, don't mind that little plant fibers. When you're spinning and pulling it apart, it just comes out anyway. So, at least when I do it. Put it in thin layers, draw it in nice. I see something I don't like, I pull it out. There's a garbage can by my feet. I want a nice layer. This fiber pulls off the drum carter pretty easy. If I didn't say it before, I did in one of my other videos. This is a brother drum carter. Um, I believe it's 72. It's a nice middle of the road one, not too fine, not too coarse. Though I would love to get a more coarse one. And you can put really funky stuff on it. This one's too fine. I can't put too much of the funk funk on it. Anyway. This is going to be noisy. I'm going to brush it down. I have not taken safety precautions. We must take safety precautions. Bar clamps must be implemented. It's not going anywhere now. We're good. Okay, onward. Pretty sure this is what we call fiber shenanigans. Correct me if I'm wrong. These guys just open right up so you can watch the color go on. And I'm going to put this down. Hopefully it's not too noisy. Oh, that was magical. Let's do that again. With the super silky fibers, you want to add them to the top. You don't need to card them because they're already pretty much already carded. They do get a little rosellous. So you got to pull them back. And there is some color in this. There's a little bit of yellow, and I thought I saw a little bit of blue. So that should add some gorgeous interest. Dare I add a little of the plum colored moha? That was painful. Fabric scissors to the rescue. This is, it's silk, it's, it's fabric, it's fine. 
silk threads, cut about two to three inches. This is a messy process, but uh, so worth it. Hold them loosely. Try not to let them all go at once. They don't do that. If you let them go through the, the Carter bed, um, they just get caught up by that first drum. I just the liquor in just wants to keep them. Oh, it's so pretty. So I couldn't find my very beautiful Diz, um, but I found a beautiful button. So, and this will make, it works just like a Diz. It's just a little harder to use on the fingers because it's so small. Okay. The first way we're going to pull this off is vertical. So we're going to go to uh, the center point and we're going to use the brush to lock it down to stop it. Then we're just going to gather some fleece all the way at the bottom. I'm just using a crochet hook because I can. All right. So gather it all the way from the metal up. And you don't want too much. Actually on this edge, I'm not going to get too much. Okay. So I just pulled a little free. Then we want to do a little bit of a twisty twisty it to behind the button through the crochet hook and out the other side. All right. All that out. Don't lose your crochet hook. Okay. okay. So the button's pretty full. I'm going to release this a little bit. And we're going to do Pull with the right hand and push with the left and get, push the button down. So pull and push, pull and push. Just little bumps. I think I can let this go now. Okay, little bumps. And if it gets too hard to push, we're going to pull the button up a little bit. That means there's too much fiber going in, so we have to pull it out a little bit. And I mean out. You want to pull away. Um, like towards you and maybe away from the uh, main fiber, so off to the side. Then you can slide the button back down again. Pull and slide. Pull and slide. It's getting a little too full again. This is a very sm small hole. Just don't wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I need to go figure out where the cat went. Get you a little better view here. Hopefully you can see me better from this view. Gently pull and push. Pull and push. Pull and push. Pull and push. And this will naturally feed itself from one side of the drum to the other. You might have a little bit um, of remnants left on the drum, but it pulls it pretty clean, especially if you used a good wool base. Anything the longer, oops, the long wool I have makes a really good base. Um, 
can't believe no one else wanted these fleeces. They're so fun. Okay, and if you don't have enough, it's starting to thin out. You want to pinch it real tight and push it back and try to gather more fleece into it or more fiber into it. And it's kind of pulling it from both ways. But look at this, this beautiful thing. You can just start from one end and slowly spin. And you say you get darks and you get those little lights and you get the oranges and I'm way too close. See? Ready? Diz off fleece and make your own roving. So I'll be right back, y'all. All right, we got this lovely floof. We're showing you a totally different way to pull this off. And I think it's going to be more fun, but it is going to involve two dowels. Um, these are half inch dowels. Literally just went to like Home Depot, picked up a couple dowels. Lowe's is awesome too. Anyway, sanded the ends and there's a little bit of um, oil on them, like linseed or something um, to seal the wood. We're going to break the bat here. also turn the bat into roving by pulling it apart. I did show that in other videos. I'll try to link those below because I can link what's in existence. I can't link what I haven't posted yet. Didn't think I put that much fiber on this, but it's a lot. Oh, sorry. I was sticking my elbow in the silk. It is not advised. Okay. Ooh, that little bit of purple. It's every. Once in a while, there's that little bit of purple. Okay. This is all fluffy. I'm going to tuck this other part back. I'm just tucking it back. Behind here. I want this not really moving. And we are going to make some roll eggs. So, okay, so we got our dizzed off fiber, which makes lovely roving. And these are going to make roll eggs. So I got one dowel on one side, one dowel on the other. I'm just going to roll them all the way up until there's just a little bit of fiber at the top. And they're locked in. I'm going to pull. Oh, come on, lock in, baby. Pull. There it goes. And roll. Pull. And roll. Pull. And roll, and you can barely see what I'm doing. I do apologize. Come here, come into my lap. Pull so it's thin, and then you roll it down. Pull so it's thin, and you roll it down. And you stop when you can't see the wood anymore. Then you smooth it all out. And then you pull one rod out, then the other rod out. He's the topony. And then you'll spin it from the end. And they store really nice like this because all the fiber is locked together. It feels pretty stiff. They store really well. So let's do one more of those. Oops, that doesn't go. I don't want to take it down. Let's do the cutting cloth though. Okay. So all your fibers are floofy. One dowel on one side, one dowel on the other. Again, these are half an inch. And when it's all fine at the top, you roll it in, pull, roll, pull, roll. Would you actually pull from the middle, please? Here, you. You better come play. Bake it. I'm going to actually go back and grab them. Oh, fiber. You can manipulate it all sorts of different ways. 
but what's actually trapped between is kind of your leverage to pull and roll. And keep in mind I'm doing this around the camera. It looks a little awkward, it probably is. Pull and roll. And when you think you have enough fiber on there, when you can't see through it, you just pulled it off. All righty. There we are. And that was two ways to get your fiber off the drum carter. One with Dizzy, the other one with making these cute little roll eggs. I quite like these. I might make some more. Mwah! Happy fall, everybody. Have fun spinning and eating pumpkin and pumpkin spice because it's all over the place. Toodles. Good talks.